Do you see Snell? Where? You found Snell. You have a good eye. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you where Snail hides from season one of Blue's Clues. When I was watching Blue's Clues, I was realizing that Snail has been hiding throughout the Blue's Clues episodes. There are 20 episodes in season one. So with further ado, let's get into the episodes. The first episode is snack time. First, you can see Snail on top of the lamp on the left side of the bedroom table while Steve was looking for the first clue, which was a cup. Next, you can see Snail on the kitchen window from behind the right curtain when Steve was walking to the kitchen to meet up with Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. And finally, you can see Snail on the post of the fence on the farm while Steve was walking along the farm. The second episode is What Time Is It For Blue? First, you can see Snail under the bed in the bedroom behind the right front leg when Steve went into the bedroom. Second, you can see on the leaf of the higher branch of the tree in the jungle when Steve skidooed into the jungle before meeting up with the lion. And finally, you can see Snail on top of the felt board when Steve and Blue were getting ready for nap time. The third episode is Mailbox's birthday. First, you can see Snail under the snack table behind the left side of the middle leg when Steve was finding Blue. Second, you can see Snail on the living room window from behind the right curtain when Steve was looking for the second clue which was a tape cassette. And finally, you can see Snail behind the left side of the present with yellow striped wrapping paper when Steve skidooed into the present store. The fourth episode is Blue's story time. First, you can see Snail behind the left side of the vase on the small round table between the kitchen and the living room while Steve was looking for the first clue, which was bricks. And finally, you can see Snail in front of the white daisy and the red tulip in front of the stump when Steve skidooed into the storybook forest. The fifth episode is What Does Blue Need? First, you can see Snail in the garden on the right side of the pink daisy when Steve went into the garden where Shovel and Pill were digging. Second, you can see Snail in the sailboat floating in the ocean at the beach when Starfish, Blue, and Steve reached the ocean. And finally, you can see Snail on top of the living room picture frame while Steve sang We Just Figured Out Blue's Clues song. The sixth episode is Blue's favorite song. First, you can see Snail on the living room window from behind the right curtain before Steve skidooed into the farm. Second, you can see Snail behind the left side of the silo next to the barn on the farm where Blue and Steve skidooed from the farm. The seventh episode is Adventures in Art. First, you can see Snail on top of Steve's painting of Blue to the left side of the easel while Steve is looking for the first clue, which was a door. Second, you can see Snail under the left of the tree in the backyard when Steve goes back into the house. And finally, you can see Snail behind the left side of the clay sculpture of a snowman when Blue and Steve skidooed from the museum. The eighth episode is Blue Goes to the Beach. First, you can see Snail on the living room window while Steve was swimming for the first clue which was a basket. Second, you can see Snail behind the center of the bottom of the fish tank on the table in the living room while Steve was swimming over to the kitchen. And finally, you can see Snail under the left of the tree in front of its left root in the tulip when Steve came out to the backyard. The ninth episode is pretend time. First, you can see Snail to the left side of the patch of flowers when Steve flew over to where Shovel and Pail were playing house. Second, you can see Snail behind the left side of the side table drawer when Steve and Blue sang the mail time song. And finally, you can see Snail under the snack table behind the left side of the middle leg when Steve and Blue pretend to explore outer space. The 10th episode is a snowy day. First, you can see Snail on the kitchen window from behind the right curtain when Steve was looking for the first clue, which was a carrot. Second, you can see Snail behind the right side of the side table drawer when Blue covers Steve's teddy bear with a blanket while Steve was looking for more clues. And finally, you can see Snail on top of the left side of the lamp on the left side of the bedroom table when Steve goes over to Tickety Talk. The 11th episode is the trying game. First, you can see Snail on the living room window from behind the right curtain while Steve was juggling for the first clue, which was a horn. Second, you can see Snail under the picnic table behind the right front leg when Steve came to the backyard while juggling before skidooing in two-storybook forests. And finally, you can see Snail inside the three bears house from behind the right side of the entrance when Blue and Steve skidooed back. The 12th episode is Blue wants to play a game. 
First, you can see Snail behind the right side of the refrigerator, while Steve was looking for the first clue, which was a duck. Second, you can see Snail behind the right side of the cup, holding two toothbrushes on the right side of the sink in the bathroom, when Steve went to the bathroom to where slippery soap was. And finally, you can see Snail behind the right side of the patch of grass, where the two candy canes are located in the board game, before it's blue and steep skidooed back. The 13th episode is The Grow Show. First, you can see Snail between the left and center roots of the tree in the backyard after Steve helped Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper figure out where oranges come from, and he went outside to find the second clue, which was a watering can. Second, you can see Snail behind the right side of the felt pole when Blue and Steve skidooed from the felt frame. And finally, you can see Snail behind the left side of the first yellow sunflower when Steve went outside and Blue watered and planted the sunflower seed. The 14th episode is Blue wants to play a song game. First, you can see Snail behind the left side of the toy chest and between it and the panda with the trumpet while Steve was giant stepping for the first clue, which was the sun. Second, you can see Snail in the bedroom picture frame playing London Bridge is Falling Down with the drawings of Steve and Blue. And finally, you can see Snail behind the left side of the beach grass on the left side of the post holding the frame leading back to the living room on the beach when Steve skidooed from the beach. The 15th episode is What Does Blue Want to Make? First, you can see Snail on the call reminder on the bulletin board when Steve followed the long strand yarn to the kitchen and the first clue, which was a yarn. Second, you can see Snail on top of the baseboard positioned to the right of the felt board when Steve was looking for Blue. And finally, you can see Snail in the jar of buttons when Steve and Blue made a sock puppet. The 16th episode is What Story Does Blue Want to Play? First, you can see Snail behind the left side of side table drawer at the beginning of the episode when Steve opened the door. Second, you can see Snail in front of the leftmost book on the bottom shelf of the bookshelf when Steve looked for Blue in the bedroom. And finally, you can see Snail behind the right side of the stump holding the book leading back to the living room in the forest. The 17th episode is Tickety's favorite nursery rhyme. First, you can see Snail on the pink block on the bedroom table when Steve went to the bedroom. Second, you can see Snail on top of the directional signpost when Steve skidooed into the nursery rhyme book. And finally, you can see Snail behind the left side of the side table that Tickety was on when Steve read the book Hickory Dickory Dock. The 18th episode is What is Blue Afraid of? First, you can see Snail on a stick in the vase when Steve was looking for the first clue, which was a fetter. Second, you can see Snail next to a bush when Steve went to the backyard and saw Shovel and Pail. And finally, you can see Snail on the cracked yellow squirrel frame in Boo's haunted house, leaning back to the living room when Steve and Blue skidooed back from the haunted house. The 19th episode is Magenta Comes Over. First, you can see Snail behind the rocks and in front of the flowers when Steve, Blue, Shovel, and Pill are following his footprint to find him. Second, you can see Snail next to the clown costume when Steve skidooed into the felt frame. Third, you can see Snail on the window when Steve was about to get the mail. And finally, you can see Snail on top of the hand towel hanging on the ring in the bathroom when Steve went to the bathroom to meet up with Slippery. The 20th episode is Blue news. You can see Snail on the big kitchen window near the kitchen table from behind the right curtain when Steve and their friends see Paprika. Those are all the episodes where Snail has been hiding from season one of Blue's Clues. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.